Today, I'm gonna use a brand that I have not used in a video in about six years, maybe? And that brand is... Welcome to my channel. Hope you guys are doing good in quarantine. It's getting a little ridiculous on my brain. I'm like such a hermit until I can't go out and I'm like, wait a second, I need to leave my house. I am going to apologize in advance for all of the tractor noises that you're going to hear in the background from now into whenever. There's some asshole trying to build a hostel in the lot next to my house, which this is not even zoned for that. So he's just an asshole in general, and I'm gonna kind of screw him with a lot of legal stuff coming up here pretty quickly. <laughs> I had gone over there, I think I posted this on my story, so if you watch my Instagram stories, this is not news to you. I uh, basically saw somebody like taking down a bunch of the trees, and so I went over there with my coffee because I swear I thought I saw a bird nest and I was like not gonna let that happen right now. By the way, I'm gonna use my Billy makeup wipes real quick to just kind of clean my face. These have vitamin C serum in them. They moisturize, they're super thick. They will they help even your skin tone, so these are awesome. So I went over there and I was like, hey, if you see any wildlife, like I live right here, like let me know, I'll, I will come over and like take it and help you out. Then I was like, hey, so like what's the plan for this lot? And he told me that the guy is planning on building like a four story like hostel and he told me how gross his other ones are that he owns in Nashville that are just like super run down. He is not allowed to build a hostel right there, so I need to stop him. And I'm just really frustrated because like he hasn't touched that lot for like three years years I've been told and all of a sudden now I'm back at home trying to film and stuff and there's gonna be a tractor in the background <laughs> doing something he's not even supposed to be doing. <sighs> this smells like waking up in Bora Bora and taking like a fresh bath. For today's video, I thought it might be fun to kind of use some new products that have been sitting here. I was in San Diego for quite a while and um, I thought we'd use some new products here that I have never touched and see what we think. Um, I'm also going to um, mention how crazy that's my extensions. They're so grown out. You know how they say like, dress for the job you want, not the job you have? Well, that's what I'm doing with my little earrings here and my little Marin Costello Sagittarius necklace. I uh, thought I would kind of wear the earrings for the look that I want to have, not the look I have, you know? I'm gonna do kind of like a smoky eye today. Oh my gosh, my lash extensions too. Like this one is okay. And then this one's like, <laughs> so I actually don't have a new eyeshadow palette to use. So what I'm gonna use is the Celestial Storm palette by Dominique Cosmetics. I love this palette. I think it's so beautiful and I haven't gotten a chance to use it recently. I put some fake tanner on yesterday and they said to put it on with your hands. But anyways, okay, these two, I'm, I've, I'm feeling like a look coming on with like this, like in the center here and then this one on the outer edge. Not not today, not today. I'm not trying to go that crazy with my look today. Tractor's back. Ah! It is so loud. I'm sorry guys. I really hope you still watch my videos even though that's really annoying. I took a picture this way showing the tractor right there. So hopefully when I can, when I go to like the zoning and whatever office, I can be like, also, this is my job. I work here and like, I can't have this done on the weekends. You're also only supposed to do that kind of stuff on weekdays, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes first since I'm gonna do kind of like a smoky red brown look. I'm gonna use the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer Pen. I'm not really sure what shade I'm gonna use yet. You click this. Wow, this is gonna take forever. Seventy-five years later. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, I'm gonna do a little bit of color correcting with the Urban Decay Naked Color Correcting Fluid in Peach. I've really been liking this brush right here for concealer, so I'll share that with you guys too. This is the Luxie 733 brush, and I do have a Luxie code if you do ever pick up any Luxie brushes and wanna save a little bit of moolah. I'm gonna use the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer Pen. This shade is in Lace. Oh, the, the, how they have the um, little name on there is really cute. So hopefully this can cover most of what we're working with. I think we'll really be able to see how it performs when it's under the eyes. We'll see. Also, like, what if you click it up too high and then you need to put the cap on? This is gonna hit the top of the cap. 
Uh, she doesn't stand upright either because of that bottom. I'm gonna try and set that in there and just leave the top half off. <laughs> you know what this guy was doing the other day too, which um, I just don't like him in general. He's just like a shady, shitty human. So there's a builder across the street that has a big dumpster and I didn't never knew that it was expensive to have those. Like you just never thought about it, I guess. But apparently like they're like $600 a day or a dump or something like that. And this guy who's trying to build this thing over here, the, I'm gonna use the uh, Juvia's Place uh, setting powder too. So this guy that's, you know, trying to build this hostel, which he's not even allowed to build right there, um, was dumping a bunch of stuff in this guy's dumpster. So I texted him because I have the builder's information. He's like, oh, just let me know if anyone's ever blocking the driveway, blah, 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 which they are all the time, but I don't call. <laughs> and uh, he was like dumping all his stuff in that trash can and that's illegal. You're not even allowed to put other, like your own crap in someone's thing. So like I told him anyways, so, okay. So that concealer, I'm liking that so far. It's still creasing a little bit right here, even though I put powder on. But to me, that's kind of a good thing because I still want it like somewhat, not tacky, but somewhat uh, able to grab the shades when I, you know, go in. So I'm gonna use this one right here, kind of like all over and blend it out with this. I think this palette is such a good mix of like warm tones and cool tones and like shimmers. It's really, really pretty. I think I'm gonna put lashes on today too. There's a new Bachelor uh, franchise, I guess you could say. It's called Listen to Your Heart. And honestly, the preview looks pretty cheesy. Are you guys going to be watching that one or are you sitting it out? Like what's... What's the deal? What do you think? Oh my gosh, it's so pigmented. <gasps> this is really pretty shades if you have like light eyes. I mean, it'll be pretty on anyone, but specifically extra beautimous if you have like light eyes that really makes them pop. Now I'm gonna go ahead and kill this man. Yesterday, um, pretty much all of my animals decided that they were gonna have issues and fight or not eat or like just every, almost every single animal gave me issues yesterday. I'm trying to think if there's a single one that didn't give me issues. Chet, my bullfrog, gave me no issues and I'm pretty sure that's it out of like all 23 of my animals or whatever it is that I have nowadays. <laughs> I'm gonna use a little bit of the e.l.f. poreless, I think this is called a universal sheer primer. Just, I don't think I've ever used this before, so this fits right into this video. Today, I'm gonna use a brand that I have not used in a video in about six years, maybe? Um, and that brand is... Oh, put a little bit of this under my eyes. And that brand is... KVD Beauty. So I just got some new foundation from them. It's called the True Portrait Foundation Shake, Drop, and Blend. Ideal for normal to oily skin. Moisturize before you apply so skin is hydrated and smooth. Well, I can't promise that my skin will be smooth, but shake very well to ensure the formula is fully mixed. If it looks watery, you gotta shake it more. Squeeze to dispense a small amount, a small drop and blend with fingers. I can't put foundation off my fingers, I just can't. Really, really cute, I like that a lot. As you can see, this one's more pink toned and this one's more yellow. And this one is kind of pink too. So I'm gonna try and do my best here. I think I'm just gonna mix a couple because I honestly, I'm so bad at figuring out my, ooh. Okay, we're gonna shake both of these. And this is my workout for the day. Okay, okay. Now to apply this, I'm definitely not using my fingers. I'm not a fan of using, like getting my hands dirty like that. I just don't like it. So I am going to go ahead and use one of these. This is the, uh, what brand is this? And I'm gonna spritz this. Let's try this out. These feel really soft. I like that. They're really, really soft. So I mix these two together. This is what we've got. Let's just see how we go. Oh, it already looks like not enough coverage for me. So this is a very different experience. Like I thought these didn't look that 
on my palette, but it just looks so pale right now. Not gonna work. <laughs> okay, so let me just kind of take a look at this. I mean, it's obviously really hard to judge a foundation if it's not the right color. And these are the only three shades that I have. And these are like, they just look way lighter when you put it on. So unfortunately, this isn't gonna work out. This is way too light of coverage for me. It's kind of settling way into my pores and stuff. I feel like if you have like really smooth, like nice skin, you can kind of get away with foundation that more so just kind of blends in as one with your skin like this. Like it's really light, whatnot. But if you have any sort of texture and like larger pores and stuff like I do, just don't think that these ever really work or look that good on my skin. I'd be willing to give it another chance, but it doesn't say anything about being buildable and it's not really enough coverage for me. And I noticed it kind of already settling into like the pores and lines around my nose and stuff. So I'm not gonna rule it out or give it a bad review because I didn't really give it much of a chance, but definitely like, I don't know. I feel like my face would also be really oily like right after I applied it or like a couple hours after I feel like it would be pretty pretty oily just based on like how it feels. So unfortunately I can't really give that much of a shot today because the shades are just so pale. It's crazy because on here, this looks like this, it, like it kind of looks like it, no, it still looks a little light, but it looks like it might work, but then just putting it on, it's like, wow, it's like super light. I don't know if I've ever actually used this foundation if I'm not mistaken, this is, uh, Katie uses this all the time and her skin always looks amazing. I mean, she has really great skin, but I remember being in a bar with her in um, Florida and I was like, dude, what is on your skin right now? And I was like this close to her, I'm like, your skin looks amazing. So this is this uh, Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. And I know this looks super dark, but like I'm getting fooled lately by having these foundations look super dark in the package and then you put it on and I look like a ghost. This has happened to me multiple times in the last couple weeks. So I'm just gonna go in with this one and see how we do. So, oh, oh my gosh, I don't know why I can't figure this out. Somebody send help. Oh my goodness, I freaking suck at this game. Oh my God. <laughs> tractor's fucking me up. <laughs> Blame this on the tractor. All right, I'm gonna wipe this off. Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing and we're rolling the dice. <laughs> now, I don't know how this looks on camera, but in person, it actually matches. So, <laughs> uh, what I ended up using was that 2.25, which is a lighter one that I had, and then wherever the other one is, like a 2.4, 2.5 or something. So, because of all the trouble, I decided to get myself some fancy ice cubes, and um, I wanna give a shout out to my friends over, oh, I totally like wiped off all the writing. I wanna give my friends a shout out over at the Fox here in Nashville. I'm gonna support them today by shouting them out. And um, I tried to pay for this, but Jesse would not let me pay for this. Thank you to Jesse and Kevin for giving me They Own the Fox along with a couple other folks. So this is a to-go cocktail that you can get from the Fox. They also have some other like foods to go and whatnot. So do what you can by supporting local and just picking up. So this is a blood orange margarita. It's <laughs> like, I tried to pour it before I even read about it. Blood orange margarita and you just pour it over ice. Everyone needs a good cocktail right now during all of this stuff. So this already has a tequila in here. <laughs> it smells really good. Mmm. oh my God, that's so strong. <laughs> it's really good though. Mm. Back to the concealer that I couldn't put the top on. You know, one thing I don't like about cream is it kind of drags your eyelid a little bit like that when you're trying to put it on. Cause like, it's like harder. I just don't feel like that's gonna blend into this foundation well, but I guess we will find out. That looks really good blended out actually. I thought I was gonna see like a cakey ass mess under my old ass eyelids, but actually looks pretty good. I put a generous amount on too. This um, foundation does not lend itself for like creamy products over it. Like, so if you really love cream contour, I don't think it's gonna work with this. Like I, I don't even think I would powder my face. And I have not said that after any um, foundation usage before ever. Dude, I'm gonna be wasted by the end of that one. I'm just gonna powder a 
a couple places around the face. It doesn't need it. Like, actually, I like the way this foundation looks, but I definitely have too much on. I have a really interesting brow product that I'm actually afraid to use right now because if my brows are messed up, the whole look is ruined. This is the Urban Decay Inked Brow. The little tiny brush and like, it's like this liquid. Semi-permanent brow gel, so it's a gel that lasts to up to 60 hours for waterproof arches. Um, yeah, wish me luck. What I'm feeling from this product, like right off the bat, is that this would be good for someone who's just like filling in. Like, as you can see, my brows need a lot of help. Like they need, they haven't been microbladed in a very long time. They need a lot of different things, not just filled in, but they need a whole shape. Like they need, structural help. <laughs> so it, I feel like this would actually be a wonderful product because see how that's filling in? I feel like this would be a really great product for someone that just kind of needs to fill in more sparse eyebrows. But see, I can't really see, this isn't really helping me shape it. I can't really see using this to shape. I just, I need more help than that. So I'm gonna quickly do my eyebrows with my brow blade. Y'all, the tractor has been stopped for like 15 minutes now. I wonder if he's done for the day. That bird is getting it. Do you hear that? Oh, okay, we are back. I think my eyelashes are falling off. I haven't worn eyelashes in so long. Like I don't even know how to put them on anymore. I'm gonna use, this is not like a brand new, but it's like new for me um, because I've been traveling a lot. I haven't really gotten to play with a lot of like the new stuff. So this is the Laura Lee Glazed Lit Kit by Laura Lee Los Angeles. And these are the highlights. These are freaking gorgeous. I've, as you can see, I've dipped my fat fingers into this once or twice. Do you guys hear the birds? I think you can hear that, it's insane. <laughs> it sounds really pretty though. I'm gonna use the ColourPop and Shayla blush for this look. And then this is new. This is um, a Too Faced Sun Puppy Bronzer, limited edition bronzer. So I don't actually know if they still have this since I've been in San Diego for a while. Oh, I actually really like this bronzer for contouring my nose because it's pretty light. I'm gonna be using the House Laboratories Matte Lip Crown in Le Monster. I'm gonna try and find, these are pretty brand new though. I think they came like right before I went to San Diego the last time. Oh, it's so like silky. My lips are kind of chapped today too, so this feels good. Which usually when my lips are chapped, like lipstick is like the last thing I wanna wear, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna just put over this the uh, Buxom Plumping Lip Cream in Irish Coffee. Nope, it's not doing what I wanted it to do at all. Oh well, we're just gonna leave it. Alrighty, we are done using all the products that I am gonna be using today. So I really liked everything. I didn't really like the Kat Von D foundation, but that's just me because I know the specific kind of foundation that I like and that wasn't it. That's not, doesn't mean it's, I don't think it's a good product. It just means that for me and my skin, it doesn't really work the way that I like my foundations to work. So I think that it could work out for you if you, like I said, have just like really, really nice skin already and you're just trying to kind of even it out a little bit and give yourself like a little bit of coverage. But for me, I need a little bit more coverage than that. Um, I really like the Smashbox foundation. I think you need to work pretty quickly. So I might almost even add a couple of their oil drops to it. I don't know if I have those anymore. The Urban Decay brow product was interesting. I really like the way that it would work if I had fuller brows. For me, again, I'm very specific with my needs. Like that doesn't work for me. I need more of a brow look like this and you can't achieve this with that product. So for me, that's it's not for me, but I can appreciate what it's doing and what it was created for. And I think like my stepmom would absolutely love that. My mom has brows like me and that would not work for her either. The Jouer Concealer, I really liked. I also have a discount code for them if you ever wanna buy anything of theirs, but um, I don't, 
like the packaging, you can't stand it upright. And then also it takes forever to get the product out when you're clicking, clicking away. And then if you click too much, which I didn't think that I did, I didn't click it up that high, you can't close it. Um, but I did like how it performed. I like the way that it looks. I like the way that it feels. It Usually when you have a, like a cream, like your mascara is already transferring down below, but that's not happening with this. So I do like that. The foundation, again, don't blend anything in with that, like on top of it, like we tried to do over here, like it just kind of messed it up a little bit and didn't work. I love the eyeshadow palette. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes Dominique Cosmetics has come out with, so I highly recommend it. I think it's a great mixture of shades. So far, I'm really liking the Matte Lip Crown by House Laboratories. I've only used it twice now, um, but I just love the way that it feels, the way that it goes on. When I first initially swatched them on my Instagram stories, I thought that they might be a little too like transparent, but they ended up giving really good payoff, so I like it. And they also feel pretty moisturizing still, which is nice because I pretty much always have dry lips. Like it's a staple of mine. So yeah, um, really liked the bronzer. I thought it blended out very well. Um, I don't know why I'm giving you guys a recap when I went over this all in the video. Uh, can you tell I'm a little rusty at making YouTube videos? Yeah. So uh, anyways, let me know what you guys think. What was your hero product of the video and what is a product that you're kind of just like meh? Could, I could like take it or leave it um, when it comes to all the products we use today. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending some of your time with me. I know we have lots of that on YouTube lately, but just wanted to say thank you for that because your AdSense helps us pay our bills and stay afloat. This is our job, so um, thank you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm, they are trying to get me fucked uh, Nicholas just sent me the dirtiest text. I'm not even reading that out loud. Damn.